This week on The Amazing Race, teams traveled to Montevideo, Uruguay, so let's get into it. First of all, I loved this episode. It was a good episode. This season, I have to say, admittedly, it's been a little bit hard for me to get through, but this episode yeah. was fun. Well, it doesn't help that this was a season that was uh, shot before they went mm -hmm. to the new format. So I they had to forgot about that. They had to restructure it. So yeah. I don't think when they shot it, they, they expected had the 90 minutes it. So in mind. I think if it would have had that in mind when they actually originally shot it, mm -hmm. it would fill a lot more. Yeah, cohesive. absolutely. So the first thing they do in this episode is the roadblock, which was who wants to make sparks fly. Charlie, tell me how this worked. So they basically had to weld two pieces of a metal together. Mm -hmm. And then the judge had to like hit it with a hammer twice. Mm -hmm. And if it didn't break, they passed. Yeah. Got their next clue. It was very interesting. I don't think I could weld I something don't think together. I could either. But you know what was funny about <laughs> this is like everyone that did it had a different opinion. Like Vinny was like, if I can do this, I'll impress um, Amber's dad. Mm -hmm. And then and he actually did super. He actually did really well. Try. Yeah. And then was it Juan and Shane? They were like, oh, we'll see how this goes. But then Ricky and Cesar, whoever did it, they were like, oh, I grew up with all the men in my family doing this. So this will be a piece of cake. And it's like, of course, because they're perfect at everything. But they he, he actually struggled. He struggled a little bit, but still, it's yeah. just like funny how skilled well, they are. Sunny and Busy were like, you know, as firefighters, we've done welding before. Yeah. So they actually it had a little bit of a benefit Yeah, it was an too. interesting kind of challenge, not one I feel like we see a lot of. Mm -hmm. um, then we move into the detour. I don't know how to say either of these <laughs> words, but essentially what they were doing was they were kind of doing this specific kind of drumming or a type of singing. So we'll do the drumming first. This actually looked a lot easier to me, I yeah. think, in my opinion. Well, because like so one of the teams said, they were like, we thought we'd have to do learn this whole entire random uh, beats and everything, mm -hmm. but it was just the same beat over and over again, mm -hmm. you know? And it, it looked fun. Yeah, you if essentially you have, had to walk and yeah. play with the rest of the like band, if you will. Yeah. If at you the have same rhythm, time. you'd probably do pretty. Yeah, fine. you could figure it out. So. And I think some of the teams like were getting in their own head, overcomplicating it a little bit. Yeah. Because like I said, once we actually saw it play out, it didn't look as hard as maybe it seemed at the mm -hmm. beginning. Yeah. The other half of this was the singing challenge, which I thought, especially if you're not like a singer or you didn't know Spanish, I thought this was way more challenging. Right. So it was kind of like this whole performance you had to yeah. put on. If each you of you had to learn a different like verse of song mm -hmm. and you had to make sure you were performative. Yeah, too. but it was also more than one verse. So you're going back and forth mm -hmm. in Spanish and then you had to put on these costumes that you see on the screen and you're kind of singing and performing along yeah. with the rest of this performance group. I will say it was fun to watch. I love the costumes, the bright yeah, colors. Yeah, it was very, super very fun nice. to watch. Mm -hmm. It was also funny because like some of them, like like Ricky and Cesar, like they actually could kind of like sing a little bit, but then the, um, the girlfriends, they could not at all. No. Oh my God, they were horrible singers, but they like put their best effort for it. Was, it, it was, was fun to, to watch. It was yeah. fun to watch. I personally would have done the drums because yeah. I wouldn't want to sing on national television. Yeah, <laughs> no, especially not in Spanish. Right? So that would be quite but challenging. Also, you see in this episode, veering away from the detour, that uh, Vinny and Amber, mm -hmm. they need to break up. Yeah, or go to couples counseling. Or, or that, because yeah. they are so toxic to each other in this mm -hmm. episode, especially Vinny to Amber. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's very gaslight, very just rude to her throughout the whole episode, mm -hmm. so. No, it's kind of crazy. Like, all I could think about watching it is I was like, if I talked to my wife like that on the race, I'm pretty sure she would break up oh. with me while on the show. Like, it's yeah. just insane. I actually thought they were gonna break up because in their like confessionals, whatever yeah. you call them in this show, they were not together. They mm -hmm. showed them separate. I was like, did they break up? Yeah. It would have been very interesting. It would have been interesting, yes. So then we get to the pit stop. Shocker, shocker, shocker. First place is Ricky and Cesar. But I have to say, the mom-son duo were so close to getting first, and that would have blown up. I mind. actually was rooting for them. I'm tired. I was too. I'm tired of Ricky and Cesar yeah. winning everything because they've gotten first, what, four times, yeah. second, the rest. They've never really gotten anything yeah. That, yeah. behind that. Yeah, and here's the thing I have to say. Some people may disagree with me saying this, but I do kind of wonder. So Ricky and Cesar know Spanish, and they mm -hmm. have been in mostly Spanish-speaking countries on the season. Right. And I do wonder, had they gone to like Europe or Asia, like right. typical places they go on the race, yeah. had it been a little different for them, I do think right. that's an advantage well, they have. Because in the up past seasons, there's multiple languages from the countries you're going mm -hmm. to, whereas so far we've done only Spanish speaking Only Spanish countries. speaking, yeah. So it's been pretty interesting. Yeah. And then last place this time around was the firefighters, Sunny and Busy. Yeah. And I will say it was kind of like, they were fun to watch, but right. you kind of knew their time was coming, but they always like, um, they always came back. It was kind right. of crazy to watch. Well, like each time, yeah, like you said, they came back. They, yeah. were, they were falling back behind, and then there was one challenge that they were like, boom, yeah. done, yeah. and they couldn't. I think it was the navigation really for this yeah. one. I agree, them. and my interview with them we posted on our website at so ozarksfirst.com, and Ozarks Live will be right back.